QCAM shoot and video pencil with two iPads, but the big key is I'm running shoot right here on this, right there on this iPad. And I'm running the QCAM app on my teleprompter on this camera. And I can manipulate everything in QCAM while looking directly into the um, into the camera. So I've been wanting this for a long time. And let's see how it performs. First of all, what did I want? I wanted a big screen for my teleprompter. And that means um, lots of real estate. I didn't have to squint on every other teleprompter I've used. It's a little far away. But this puts it within arm's reach and very legible, uh, very easy to read. That's number one, a big screen. Number two is I want a big text on the screen. And I'm not only seeing text from the camera feed, I'm seeing all of QCAM here displayed to me. And I'll show you that later. And I wanted the camera from the iPad to be on the top middle. So I wasn't looking off to the side. I use my iPad mini for this, and I was always looking off to the side. And now with it here, I'm really interested in how it feels to view when I'm reading definitely right off of the screen. And I wanted HDMI use it as a source for apps. So that using my other iPad, my old iPad, has turned into my video pencil iPad. And I can use it also as a source full screen for apps, for Final Cut Pro, for Zoom, for web pages. It really works pretty well. What surprised me was that I'm able to get eye contact while monitoring. That is iPad, iPad that shoot using shoot. That's iPad using video pencil. So this is shoot. And what shoot is doing is it is mirroring the QCAM app that's running down here. And you can see I've got the teleprompter from QCAM also in my usual teleprompter on the IVI. But having it right here in front of me changes everything because I can now use the mouse on my laptop to navigate while watching the screen. Now, what's missing? One is the positioning and sizing of the text on the iPad teleprompter. It doesn't, it doesn't go up to where the camera is, and it doesn't let me make it large, which it does on its usual teleprompter. I'm sure that can be fixed. And the other gotcha might be a little bit hard in that if I bury uh, QCAM under a browser or other windows, it's not as responsive. It hangs. So those are the two gotchas. This thing really takes engagement with what I'm doing to a new level. I see all my, all my sources, all my monitors, all my times, and my rundown, my complete notes on the presentation, and I can finish the recording up here.